hello, hello. Oh, look. He's out. He's out. He actually came in. We I have a bee. It's a Lola. Oh, you're such a cutie. Are you going to do a room tour with a little explanation of everything in your room for YouTube? Ooh. Maybe. Yeah, um, obviously you can sort of see, like, my Warcraft shelf. But yeah, I, I ha I'll have to do a video. I'll have to think of how to do it. But yeah, I'll do something. So I have two boxes from Draven today. I have a little tiny one, and then I have a big one. The big one I'll do first, because that one was sent first. And then I'll do the, the little one. Looks like the pink butterfree has had too much to drink. It's fallen over. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, scissors. Scissors! So, yes, today we are unboxing uh, a couple of parcels that were sent in from Draven. We have two today. Oh, for fuck's sake. The first thing that is in the box. Exactly what it is. It's gone. It's gone. It's been. <gasps> oh, no way. We got some Fast and Furious Hot Wheels. But yeah, you zoom in. Oh, let's zoom out. Zoom in. So yeah, we got all of these on the bottom here. Oh yeah, look at these beautiful cars. Oh, I've been spoiled. Thank you so so much. What else we got? What else we got? Ooh. We haven't seen this. First. Oh my god, what is that? I keep zooming the wrong way. What is that face? What what is this? Oh look, it's gonna boop your nose. <laughs> tickle tickle. <laughs> A mouse says he didn't think much of it. I'll have to, um, we'll have to give it a go. But, I mean, most movies like this are, they're, they're usually just like good old, good old slasher movies, usually. Ah, oh, a classic, Romeo Must Die, from the producer of The Matrix. To be fair, horrors aren't scary these days. I find them funny. Yeah, they're not. Unless they're paranormal, I don't find them very scary. You know, I haven't seen this in years. Absolute years. I need to, uh, and I, I bet Chris hasn't seen it. Oh, hi, Romancer. It was very nice of you to be so kind to me that time a few months ago. It is thanks to you that I'm still about to do what I, uh, I'm still able to do what I do today. Thank you so much. Ah, that's such a nice message. I'm glad you're well. I'm always nice to everybody. We have a very nice chill community here, so everybody is welcome. But thank you so, so much. That's such a nice message. Don't forget the, the best movie of the lot so far. No, I'm not even mentioning The Ring. The Ring, mm, no. Ah, two movies in one box. So the main reason Draven sent me this is because of Lara Croft Leaf Unloaded. Now I do have this on its own. 
But this is a double box with a Nicole Kidman film in it called Nightmaster. I have never heard of that. I've seen this. This is really good. Really, really interesting watch. Oh, yes. And then we got a copy of Tomb Raider Chronicles on the PC. Oh, yeah. I forgot that young Lara was in the fifth one. I thought she was only in the fourth one. Also, we finished Alone in the Dark this week, so we will be going back to Tomb Raider um, at some point. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wow, and it comes on. It comes on two discs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I've just realised that this is still sealed as well. Lovely jobly. Ah, oh, no way. And we got two green versions of Godzilla. I love how the boxes are green. Oh! This is like the OG Godzilla film. I've seen all the other Godzilla films and I just always prefer this one. Godzilla. I think it's just because I watched it so much as a kid. I have to make sure that there's nothing in the paper. Ooh, classic console backpack buddies. Look out for the rare chase controller. Okay, what do you think we're gonna pull out of these? Chess says GameCube. Amalgit says Game Boy Color. I'm gonna say N64. Draven's gone Game Boy Advance. Okay. Let's open it. Let's have a look. What we got? <laughs> you can't see it. It was a GameCube! Oh my god! They, they moved! You can actually... Oh, you can't press the shoulder buttons, but you can press all these buttons. That's how I'm playing games from now on. But it's so cool! I love it. Also, look, peep the nails. Oh! And then he sent me some more trading cards! Oh my gosh. Do we do. Oh! Do we, uh. Do we do, should we do the trading cards till the end after the other box? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Oh! I'm gonna put that there as a reminder. Let's go, so we'll start off with... <laughs> Speaking of wrestling and Wrestlemania, we got SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, free Super Top Trumps card inside this game to be played with the new superstars. <laughs> it's actually in there! Exclusive Super Top Trumps card to be used. We got Randy Orton. Look at how young he is there. Oh my god. You can like, you can go there. Thank you so, so much. That's so cool that they left that in there. Ooh. Ah, is that a, a packet of Pokemon? Oh, what? There wasn't Pokemon in it. There was more Jurassic Park cards. <laughs> it's a good job I did open it. Oh my god, okay, we'll add this to this pile and we will go through those in a bit. <laughs> it's a good job I opened that. I can't wait to see what cards we got. Oh, no way! Warcraft, Lord of the Clans, Day, the Day of the Dragon. These are really cool, is there any art in it? I know some old books come with like like pictures but no nothing in that one thank you so so much for those thank you so so much for these draven thank you 
I'm so excited for my Jurassic Park cards. Put that there. And that there. Lotto! Ah! Oh, they've even got like a texture on them. Oh, oh, that gives me the heebie jeebie. Oh, that's so weird. Oh my god! Do you really think you put them in the barone? What a ledge. Okay, so let's go 21. And see if we have this one. 1920. 21. Oh. When it's the other side. Oh, it is that way. Okay, so that's that one finished. <laughs> I just love how different, like, just all, like, each page has a different style of, like, artwork for the, for the cards. It's so good. Okay, next one is 55, which goes... Ah, uh, it creates a, like, a, like a, a picture. That's really cool. And this one down here, look. Oh, this one makes a big picture as well, look. 79. I've come to dislike those folders. I prefer the sleeves with double side pockets. Yeah. These ones are weird, like, because you can only put them in on the one side. But I suppose if you want the sort of matching one to go with the set. Uh, 83. 82, 83. <laughs> Look at this one. It's so shiny. Gotta make sure I put them in the right ones because they know what I'm like. 111. How many copies of the ring have you been given today? <sighs> Two seven. Oh, look at this one. This one's cool. Jurassic Throwdown. <laughs> Yeah, these ones here are like like retro kind of style. These are cool. <laughs> Claw, claws out. Ah, uh, this one has like a texture on it as well. One five six. Four five six. Glow in the dark stuff is like proper throwback. Do you guys ever used to have those like glow in the dark stars that you used to put on like the ceiling? I used to have them. It, it, this one's got like a cool like sheen to it. 167. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's always the one with the gap. My god, we're filling so many gaps. I'm, I still can't believe that you managed to finish this one. This one was really cool. And this one, ooh, what number is this one? 196. Oh, this is a celebration collection. <gasps> These are some of those like rarey ones. 196. So that's uh, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ooh. I'm gonna leave you in the little sleeve. So we got footsies. You know the little toe beans and then we got the egg number 11 what's this one <gasps> ah look at him <laughs> i love these jurassic park movies they're so good number 11 do we have 11 10 11 no we don't and number 12 
this one. I think he's smiling in the background, he's like, hey. What's this one? 13. Oh my god, three in a row. Oh, it's a long neck. 16. That will go here. This is like such a oh, it's like such a classic scene as well. One oh five. Goes there. Goes here. Hold on, what have I done here? What have I done? What is this one? Oh, I've done that the wrong way around. So yeah, that one's there. So hold on, 100. One, two, three, four, five. So that one does go there. This one doesn't go here. And then this one is six. Okay, there we go. So these two are doubles. It's good job you spotted that. This one goes here. And then we have one left, which is this one. Uh, one, four, two. Which will be this one. Yay! And then I'm pretty sure that's it. What are these ones here? Oh, these are two limited edition cards. The last few are limited, so hard to get, but can get from website. The only thing is, is it doesn't tell you, like on here, how many of those limited cards. Yeah, it doesn't say how many there are. Like watching YouTubers scream in fear when they play horror games. <laughs> I got, if you go through like my, uh, my shorts, there was quite a few clips of jump scares of when I played Alone in the Dark. I put a lot of my clips on there. Also, for uh, for future, I um, I managed to get a full box of uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Angel's Curse full on sealed box. Um, and then I also got um, the other one as well. So this one is class and 99, and these ones are also the limited ones. So the limited ones have the little um, symbol in the bottom there, meaning this is like the limited edition. Like it's, it's it, they class it. It's like a base set. So this was before the reprints. So we got a limited one of this one, um, and then a limited one of this one as well. So if you look. It's limited. So we got we got these to open at some point. Oh yes. I did buy a couple of the um, like separate ones here. Should we open one of these? So these ones, um, the only the only downside with these ones is these ones don't come with like the piecework cards and stuff like that. So these ones have piecework cards in, um, and then like some of these ones, um, I got like a couple of single booster pack. These ones have uh, pieceworks, but also autograph cards. So further down the line, they got um, they had like different um, different, but these don't have uh, piecework cards in. They do have rare cards in though, um, like some of the cards that you can pull from here. Um, I've seen go for a lot of money online. Uh, so let's put these here. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open this one. Yeah, look. He even tries to sell the collector's albums on here. Look. You just have to like order it. Send $19.95 plus three pound postage. Check money order or Visa account. <laughs> And you have to send it to a P.O. box. My God. When you couldn't do online shopping, you had to send it all in the post. Let's open it up. Ah, oh, so we got 
an old angel card when he was Liam. Uh, this one is New Blood. This one's from series one. So this is from series five. This is uh, the gift. So yeah, this is where she uh, she jumps. Uh, Buffy and her friends defeat Glory, but not before one of her worshippers began the ritual which opened the doors between worlds. Faced again with a torturous decision, Buffy ch uh, chose to save Dawn and sacrifice herself, knowing Summer's blood would close the portal. That was such a sad episode, my god. I remember crying. Uh, friend or foe? So this is the aftermath of uh, when these two traded places. Uh, Faith gave Buffy the, un ooh, the unique experience of having another Slayer as a friend, someone who understood her power and responsibility. Buffy had the better task of hunting a former alley when Faith became a rogue killer. Boundary between the two slayers blurred when Faith switched bodies and lives with Buffy. That was like a good double episode as well. Ah, this is the one with the, um, the girl in series one where she goes invisible uh, and then tries to kill everyone. Uh, weird things happen around Buffy as Cordelia rehearsed for her May Queen coronation. She was attacked by Marcy, a girl so unpopular at school that she became invisible. So funny how I can literally like just look at a picture. I know what episode it is. This is Anya and Stuck. So I'm pretty sure this is the one where uh, well, she loses her powers. Is it the one where the world switches and she can't bring it back? She loses a necklace. Oh, oh no, it's the one where she was looking for her necklace and she uses the witch uh, willow to try and get her necklace back. There we go, yeah. After Giles destroyed the amulet, um, holding her power, for, uh, Dehofrin punished Anya by stranding her in human form. Not only was Anya powerless, but she was also plagued by the impulses and emotions of a teenage girl. So yeah, she lost her, her necklace and she uses willow to try and get it back. And then this one is uh, Once More With Feeling. So this was the uh, musical episode. Uh, with a musical demon named Sweet was summoned to Sunnydale, the whole town was possessed with a magical compulsion to sing and dance to their deaths. Sweet announced that he intended to make Dawn his bride. A big commitment for a 15 year old. Yeah, wow creepy. Wow creepy. Shall I open another one? I love trading cards. I love trading cards. Uh, so this is graduation day. Uh, this was the end of series three. This high school was the highlight of some people's lives, but not Cordelia's. She helped Buffy and the rest of the class stop the mayor's ascension of, at graduation. But Cordelia couldn't afford college. Instead, she moved to Los Angeles to find her fame and fortune. She was amazed to discover her true calling there. Ah, uh, yeah. That's when she moved on to Angel. So that's that one. Pretty sure that's when he says that he's gonna leave and move away. Uh, another apocalypse disrupted Jal's quiet life in Britain. The first evil destroyed the Watchers Council, its library, and a number of potential slayers. Jal's arrived on Buffy's doorstep with a handful of unexperienced girls, the last Watcher, who returned to the side of his slayer for a daunting battle. Or maybe that was series seven. Uh, this is where, so this is series six. This is when uh, Willow uh, raises Buffy from the dead. Da, 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 da. Uh, grieving over her inability to prevent Buffy's death, Willow resorted to dark magic to bring her friend back from beyond the grave. While she was unaware of her, of her successful at first, Oh, of her success at first, she raised Buffy, but also woke a powerful, dangerous force that demanded satisfaction. Uh, so this isn't like, this picture isn't from a episode. That's like a promo picture, so I'm not sure. But this one might be from series two, where they introduced Drusilla. She was Spike's dark goddess, his violent muse, consumed with mad passion. They reigned death over Europe and America. Spike was devoted to Drew until she left him for a chaos demon. She accused Spike of being constantly obsessed with Buffy. Yeah, so I literally, like, this didn't didn't give a telltale of what episode it was. Ah, oh, we got, like, a shiny card. 
So this must be like a rare, like a rare. Yeah. So this would make up a big picture by the looks of it. Yeah, look at that. As the Slayer Sister Dawn created a role for herself during the battle with the first evil, while she learned to fight watching Buffy, Dawn developed a talent for ancient lore. Uh, so this one is, is this the one where it's her birthday and she dreams that he dies? Before he returned from the Hell Dimension, Buffy dreamed of an ideal life for her and Angel. Impossibly, they lounged on a sunny beach. Angel told her he would never leave her, even if she killed him. Uh, this is where she kills Caleb, the uh, priestly guy. Angel comes to help. And she's like, nah, I don't need your help. And he's like, okay, I'll just stand here and watch. And then they kiss. Angel returned to Sunnydale one last time, bringing Buffy a mysterious amulet he obtained from Wolfman Heart. He wanted to fight alongside her in the final battle, but she insisted he return to LA and continue the fight against evil there. Perhaps one day there will be a place uh, in her future for him. Now let's do, I did pick up a men of Sunnydale. Okay. So this one is Riley. Uh, this is the one where he leaves because he was just he was just a big old crybaby. I never really liked Riley. Big old crybaby. By the time Buffy ran to stop Riley, he was gone. Good riddance. Uh, oh, this is in series five where they come to test the Slayer. All the watchers come over and they put her through a load of tests. Watchers base their lives on one central tradition, stay emotionally detached from the Slayer. Giles broke that rule and confronted the council when they questioned the wisdom of his attachment to Buffy. He lost his commission only to later be reinstated when Buffy demanded it. Yeah, she proved them all wrong. She was like, fuck you. Here's Crybaby Riley again. Uh, all American, wholesome, soft spoken, and seemingly ordinary Riley Finn kept some big secrets. While he and the Slayer shared a double life, enhanced strength and the fight against evil, their relationship failed for one simple reason. Riley knew Buffy truly didn't love him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the bad guys. This is Caleb. He's the creepy old priest guy from, uh, from the first. This woman hating Southern preacher was the first leading servant in charge of the bringers. Uh, he took an active role in uh, in battle, destroying the Watcher's Council, setting a trap for Faith and the potentials, uh, and putting out. Uh, oh, I'm pulling out Xander's eye. Hard to kill. Buffy carved him in half using the scythe found by Spike. Yeah, this is this is the guy that she killed when when Angel came. Pretty sure this is the episode with Alia. Uh, not Alia. That R and B woman that came in and started slicing him up. I can't remember what her name was. For a down-to-earth guy, Xander dated a host of wild, uh, one time and occasionally wicked women. After his breakup with Anya, he thought a night out with a girl he met at the highway store would be harmless. Unfortunately, Lisa considered Xander the perfect candidate as a sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, he tried to, tried to use like his blood to open the hell mouth. This is the episode where, in series four, it was Thanksgiving, and I'm pretty sure this is the one where he was like sneaking and keeping an honor in the shadows. Uh, Buffy started college in now, and Angel lived in LA, helping the helpless. Cordelia and Doyle, a demon half-breed gifted with visions, assisted him. One vision of Buffy in danger sent Angel back to Sunnydale. He helped her fight an ancient Native American spirit while keeping his visit a secret. Told ya! I'm so good at this game. I'm so bloody good at this game, I tell ya. These are really fun. It's like, guess the episode. Obviously it tells you what it is a bit on the back, but I like guessing it from the picture. <laughs> it's a fun game. We should do this again. Let's do this again next time! I don't think there's any of the TV series that I could do this with. Today's stream has been so much fun. Let's go back to the other, the other screen. Oh, look! He's asleep. Well, he's not asleep. You can see him, he's listening to me, he's watching. Thank you so much, Draven, for my gifts. 
so many plushies. There are, um, there's so, oh my God, trying to like change the difference. Behind this Tomb Raider crab or cutout, there's like a whole shelf of Pokemon up here. And then I have like Shujo Ghibli ones here as well as on the back. And then this is all World of Warcraft. Um, this is my Tomb, ooh, this is my Tomb Raider shrine. And then I have like plushies and old Game Boy games and stuff all here. Oh. Oh, little bee. But, um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for today's stream. Thank you so much again for my goodies. But I love all your faces. And, uh, and yeah, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Oh, I'm over here. There we go. <laughs>